So we've had really sad news here in Great Britain that our Queen died last night. And of course you can't not let, you can't let it go without saying something because like, she's like literally always been my queen because you know I was born in 1971 um you know she had her civil jubilee in 77 like I was living in Wigan then and I remember the um street parties that they had for her silver jubilee um you know I remember all the tables laid out in the street and um all the flags <laughs> on the lamp posts um you know a lot of people might say you know that they're not really monarch lover and all this kind of thing but i've never been that person i've always loved the royal family um you know i was devastated when um diane died and for a while, you know, I kind of blamed the family for the way she was treated and things like that. But, you know, I've come to understand it a bit better. Um, I think they've made lots of mistakes in, in their lives. Um, they're no different from us, really, in a lot of ways. You know, they make mistakes. You know, I believe that Charles should never have been pushed into marrying Di. Um, you know, he always loved Camilla and I think that he only married her out of duty. Um, you know, and you look at the Charles now to the Charles years ago and he's a completely different person. You know, he's warm, he laughs, he's got humour. Um, you know, I think Camilla has really brought a good side of him out. So I'm, you know, looking forward to seeing him be the king. So that is such a weird thing for me to even say because in my lifetime we will never see another queen because you know his son is heir apparent and William's son is heir apparent so I'll never see a queen again in my lifetime and it's going to be so weird to see it all filter through um, I kind of knew that she was going to pass away yesterday because I even remember because I came yesterday and I rode my horse spirit and I remember chatting to him because I always chat to my horse people think I'm loopy probably but I always chat to my horse and I was saying to him oh the queen's very poorly I think she's going to pass away today and what a great horse lady she was and that um you know to send her best wishes and all that kind of thing and then when I got home chatting to my husband because it's his first day at work his new job and I literally just mentioned in passing you know I think the Queen's gonna pass away today and literally within me saying that it was announced that she'd already passed away and I got really upset and I've been like really tearful actually since yesterday because I don't think you you know, if you're somebody who loves the royal family, you can not be upset, really, because she was such a massive figurehead for the whole world, really. Because not there wasn't anybody in the world that didn't know who the Queen was. Not anybody. Except maybe some tribe in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but there wasn't. I mean, she was the Queen. I mean, yes, she was the Queen of the United Kingdom, but she was also known as the Queen. Oh, just seen a dragonfly. How amazing is that? That's really spiritual. <laughs> um, wow. So, we're all going to mourn in our own way. I'm going to try and do my own little tributes on my Facebook, which I have been doing today. And like I did with Di, I've bought a big candle, which I'm going to light and I'm going to burn the candle. It's like I bought a massive one. I think it lasted over a week when I did it with Di. And, um, and see how things unfold in the world and watch everybody and their reaction. Um, 
but I'm going to miss her face because like, you know, literally the Queen's face is blinking everywhere. It's on our money. You know, it's literally everywhere. I walked to Tesco's into Tesco's today and on the big screen outside, they've got a beautiful picture of her in memorandum. And, you know, I felt really emotional. And there was a lady outside who'd come around the corner to see the picture and she literally broke down crying her eyes out. And um, and I really felt for her because like, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to feel like that and I feel upset. And, you know, and I know, like, my mum's been talking to me about it all today. And, um, you know, like I said, there are people who aren't royalists and everything, but, you know, she was still a massive figure in our lives. You know, it's, she's all I've ever known as my monarch. You know, haven't known anybody else. And for all of her faults, and she had some, she served our country from a very early age until literally her last breath. I mean, she saw in Liz Truss on um, this week, you know, and I'm not being funny, but if you'd seen the Queen in the photograph, and I'm sure everybody has, I'm sure that she was really quite ill at that point already. And she still got out of bed and still did her duty. She was friggin' amazing. So, blessings to the Queen, because I'm not a big believer in God, I have to say. And good luck to the new King, King Charles III. And he's got some bloody big shoes to fill. And hopefully he does it with the same dignity his mother did.